you know, I recently had a heart operation, open heart surgery. Yes. And uh, yeah. they talked about it being hereditary. Uh, and But I noticed in your one of your talks, you were talking about a gene says fluid and dynamic and that they, it, it, it transcends that, that uh, hold that, uh, that, it, that hereditary issues have. Is that, is that am I right there? Yes. Um, you know, I think now the, the current understanding um, of the genes is that they determine everything about who we are your height, your weight, your eye color, uh, the diseases you'll get, how long we will live, et cetera. That's a misconception. And uh, genes are, genes do not change. So there are certain, our genes do not change, but what does change is whether they're expressed or suppressed. So in your case, you may have had a genetic predisposition. I don't know what the what your bypass surgery was, was for or to this extent, but probably there was a genetic predisposition that you had from early on in your life, but you may have staved off needing surgery or having a fatal heart attack until your current age because of everything else you've done with your life. You're obviously not overweight. I assume you don't smoke, um, you know, you, and, and you're fit and you're happy and you're engaged in life. All of those things would mitigate against a heart attack gene being expressed in your life. Uh, so an, another person who would have the same genetic imprint uh, if they didn't exercise, if they were unhappy, if they were overweight, high stress, that will bring on an early heart attack and very, very predictable. So the, the point is, is that now what we're realizing is that we'll call epigenesis or the, the above the gene, that everything about uh, our life, stress, meditation, the environment, our friends, uh, closeness to others, our relationships – have a profound influence. In fact, uh, James Watson of the Watson and Crick discovery of the DNA in 1954, he was the first person to have his genome completely mapped about five years ago. And he has a statement, I, I have, have, have it in my book, that if he took that information to his, his or her family doctor, uh, that he or she would know one to three percent more one to three percent more about his health than if they just did a good physical. Uh -huh. Now, one to three percent—that's astounding. And and uh, the last thing is that with all of our chronic diseases, ninety percent, maybe more, of our chronic diseases are all epigenetic. There are very few what they call monogenic diseases that show up in the first six to nine months of life. Everything else is we all carry a genetic predisposition to long life, to certain tastes, to certain heights, certain everything, that is all malleable. We are changing, as we're speaking right yeah. now, we are changing our genetic expression literally right now. Ooh. 